Um, I want to share my concern with you today about the lack of education in, for, of science in elementary schools. <laughs> when I first stepped into my role as a fifth grade teacher in 2010, I immediately knew that science was going to be my favorite subject. It was a way that I could teach my students and have them engaged in their learning. For, my, for me, the idea of teaching science was exciting and it brought about endless possibilities of stimulating hands-on learning for my students. Sadly though, I quickly noticed that many of my fellow educators did not share that same enthusiasm as I did about, te about teaching science. In fact, many of my colleagues actually admitted to avoiding teaching science or teaching very little science in K-5. to to them, science was just another responsibility that was added to their plate, and they really didn't have time for it. I don't mean to be disrespectful, because I know firsthand how difficult it is and challenging it is to teach all the subjects and all the standards. However, I was taken aback when I, as I reviewed a recent study from a national survey. It reported that science instructional time is actually decreasing in our elementary schools today. In 2018, Nationally, only 35% of our students in grades 4 to 6 and 17% of our students in grades K to 3 have access to daily science instruction. Surprisingly, Maine, it's even less. According to the Maine District Survey, only 14% of our students in grades 3 to 5 and a mere 4% of students in pre-K to 2nd receive daily science instruction. I know I'm a science nerd, but... This blew my mind. I can begin to comprehend why teachers were leaving out science. Science allows students to explore their world and discover new things. It helps students develop key life skills, and so many of our future career opportunities are in the STEM field. So why were teachers putting science on the back burner? I had a lot of questions, so I started to research, and I started to ask the teachers the questions. I discovered three major barriers that most teachers faced. One, they did not feel prepared to teach science. If you ask most teachers, they took one teaching method course for science in their undergraduates. Two, a lack of time with a need to focus on high stakes tests. And three, insufficient funds for resources and supplies. Immediately, sorry, immediately I began advocating for science education. I searched for ways to support teachers in teaching science and opportunities for students to engage in science. During my first year of teaching, I joined the science curriculum team. I organized field trips to the Gulf of Maine Research Institute and to the University of Maine Bryant Pond Learning Center for all our fifth grades in, the, in our district. During this time, they had the opportunity, opportunity to participate in many hands-on science lessons. By collaborating with community partners, my fifth graders continued to attend these field trips today for little to no cost. Working with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension, I became an instructor and chaperone for students in grades five to eight to present and attend at the Eastern State Science Exposition. For many of these students, this was the first time creating and presenting a STEM project. It was also the first time traveling out of state. I felt honored that these students and their parents had so much trust in me that they were willing to take this risk and to explore new educational opportunities. All of these experiential learning opportunities help to build background for students, support learners with different learning styles, engage students in the learning, and give all students a chance to be successful. You could say that in my classroom, science has leveled the playing ground for many of my students. The experiments, hands-on investigations, and engineering design challenges do not have just one possible solution or one answer. There are multiple. For students who find the traditional learning methods challenging and uninteresting, science began to change their world. Their unique ideas and creative ways of thinking out of the box were now being encouraged in my classroom. For the first time, their peers were listening to them and valuing their ideas and contributions to the group projects. It was a wonderful feeling as I watched many of my students become active learners, grasp new concepts quickly, and develop a sense of empowerment. A parent of a former student of mine shared this letter. 
Tanya is responsible for sparking a keen interest in science and math in my daughter, an interest that continues to this day. Tanya's approach to STEM is notable because she is continuously pushing herself to make learning relevant and engaging for her students. These types of students' experiences are what continue to motivate and drive me to search for opportunities for our teachers and our students in science. Later, I collaborated with a colleague to begin the first annual district STEM Expo and Science Fair for K-12 students. I presented our plan to the Mahoosic Kids Association Board, which is an after-school program um, in our area. And they agreed to sponsor the event by purchasing presentation boards for the students and paying for special science exhibits. I contacted local scientists, museums, and STEM-related companies to participate. Students developed their skills in science and engineering practices. They saw how science was used in the world around them and participated in hands-on science activities. Now, over 200 students participate in this event, and over 300 community members attend each year. After creating the STEM Expo, I began focusing more on community partnerships and became a teacher mentor for the Atlantic Salmon Fish, Fred, Fish Friends. Working alongside the PTA, I received funds for equipment that enabled my students to raise endangered Atlantic salmon in our classroom. The Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife and the Androscoggin River Alliance have helped my students with learning more about the salmon's history in Maine, how the dams have affected their journey, and releasing our salmon into the local river to help restore this population. Applying their knowledge of the Atlantic salmon by creating a solution for the migration of an endangered species, two teams from my fifth grade class were selected to compete in the National Geographic Geo Challenge Regional Competition in 2018. When students decide to take on the project of restoring our school nature trail and building an outside classroom, they learn how to advocate for themselves and use their voice and knowledge to change and improve their community. My principal, my principal noticed the difference in my students in their engagement in their teaching and the teacher's shift in, their in teaching science. The students love the challenges they are faced with during the lessons and the teachers are enjoying teaching science and seeing their students engaged. Science is an important part of the foundation for education for all children. By working with the community and scientists, my students have become environmental stewards and made connections to the real world science. We must continue to support elementary teachers in teaching science to ensure that our students are not only learning about science, but becoming skilled in critical thinking, science literacy, and empowerment. Thank you.